to move on into the playoffs here once again to make some noise in the Middlesex League. On the faceoff for the Red Devils, we'll have number 10, the, or excuse me, we'll have the faceoff underway. Number five, Frankie Minato, and number three for the Meyer Marauders, that is Connor Dacey. Puck is dropped, we're underway here from the 2017-2018 season of Burlington High School Red Devils hockey. Here's Hartling chipping it along out in the far boards, turned over now, Hartling gets it back again. Right off the faceoff, Bridges gets a cross ice pass. Moving after it now is Frankie Bonanno. Right behind a defender. It goes over the net. And it goes back to Bridges who sets it up. Here's a shot! That one just went up in the air as there was nobody really there to catch it. Left point now is Bridges. Fires that one just wide on the wraparound try. Is number 19 for Burlington. That's Sean Casey, the senior. For Burlington. And now racing out the chance there for the Marauders to ward it as Casey brings it up right point. Over the right circle now, crushed by his man as the Marauders try and chase back. Flipping along is De uh, Demonicani. As moved back around, it goes to Joe Barbieri who is uh, checked along out at center ice and will be able to clear it out. Up, setting up a play as Christian Hartling turned over once again by uh, Caldanto. Here's a shot that one stopped by Barbieri on the rebound. It goes back to the left point. And it goes to Timmy Bridges again. On the chase now is Connor Quinlan, number 17. Two years ago, uh, he was a varsity recall from J.D. Red. Two years ago, scoring his first goal at the Ed Cahoon Memorial Tournament back in February of 2016. Here's a shot, that one just goes wide, and on the rebound it goes, here's a, another try as that one was flipped up in the air, and again, nobody there to put it home. Falling down was Quinlan, as he'll be crushed along the half boards now. Here's Ryan O'Halloran as his pass was blocked, and now we come the Marauders once again. Here's Fiki. Fiki racing into the zone, over the right circle, trying to get a backhand of the way. Tough player, uh, tough pushing and shoving by Matt Tymon as he clears that one all the way down the other end of the ice. And an icing is called here with 12.44 to go in the first period. A tie game here at the Ice Palace, 0-0. We'll see on the faceoff, Tim Bailey. And number eight, Mitchell Madia as the Devils initially win the faceoff. It goes back to number 11. That's Spencer Reith. Reith's pass turned over. It goes back to Duffy. Fires that one wide. Rebound. It stopped by Barbieri as he's pushed aside. Or shoved by Chris Gedick near the right point. Another turnover this time by Hardling as the Devils try and clear it out. They will not as it's a nearly a turnover. And it goes back as he's another hit this time by Quinlan as it goes back to Pat Hayes. Hayes fires again that one wide. 12 minutes, five seconds to go. Still a 0-0 tied at the Ice Palace. There's a shot, that one just goes wide as the Marauders will be able to change now. Domenicani, good puck handling for one, just one player on the ice as uh, all the rest were changing lines as Again, the puck goes all the way down the other end of the center, or excuse me, all the way around near the goal. And this time it's cleared off the other side, playing it by is Barbieri. And Savage will take it up. Savage ahead for Casey. Casey back for Jeff Russo. Russo fires that one, stopped by Dacey. And a good chance there for Russo and Casey and company. Again, the awarded by Dacey for the Marauders. They started a net for two or three years now for this Belmont program. They've done exceptionally well uh, as in the past couple of years now. He's a chance for Russo, fires, knocked down as, and another try, they score! That's who? It's Frankie Bonanno! He goes bananas and the Lakers have a one nothing lead. 
The Devils have a 1-0 lead thanks to Frankie Bonanno and assisting on that play was Jeff Russo. With 11.04 to play, the home team gets the first of the season. Face-off is won by Quinlan, and it goes back to the Devil's End. But it's tipped up, and now here comes Son Savage. Over the right point is Savage again. Savage backhanding it. Here's another try as Daisy stuffs that one. And we're going to see some pushing and shelling very quickly. Multiple whistles. We might see a penalty here. Burlington goals, scored by number five, Frankie Bonanno. Unassisted. Time for the goal, 3 minutes, 51 seconds. And Bonanno unassisted. Bonanno is the, is, will be credited for the goal. Unassisted now as the, your, the Devils win the faceoff. And it goes back for Connor Quinlan again. Racing after to Tim Bridges. Bridges fires that one to no one in particular. Goes back to the Marauders. Here's Timon firing that one down the ice. And it goes back for Rocco, turns that one over. Here's Bridges again for number 15. Again, that's Timon. He fires a shot save made by Paul Barbieri, and he holds on to that one. With 10.17 to go in the first, one nothing Red Devils of a goal by Frankie Bonanno. Ready for the face-off here to the right of Barbier, or the left of Barbier, excuse me. As that one is won by the Devils, it goes back for Matt Simon, who will get it back out the other end. Here's Hardling firing that one ahead, intended for Hayes, but he couldn't get that one in time, just overskated. And now here's another try for Gedek. Gedek fires, that one's locked. And Gedek gets a loose puck at the left circle. Here's Gedek racing after a backhand try, and no one was there for that one. Here's a wind-up shot. That one off the pad is another try, and Daisy makes the stop as the loose buck was near the crease. And thus we'll get a savage of play. 9.45 to go in period number one. one nothing Red Devil lead. As the fan section jumps around and whatnot. And the Devils are ready to jump around. Here's another try. That time by Russo it goes way high off the ceiling. And out of play. And we will start the face-off here once again. Restart this time again to the left of Daisy. Manana wins the faceoff. It goes back for Russo, who chips it out to the other side. Here's another try. Russo, stop, rebound. It goes out of the slot. And now Savage is chasing after it now. And it goes back to Belmont. Only there to play to chase after it is Spencer Reith. We will chip it up over the half wall now. It goes to Russo. Now with, at the left point, turned over by Bonanno this time. Again, another turnover. This time by Connor Dacey, who is Hit on the play really hard as a lot of physicality here to start the, the home opener here at the Ice Palace as another hit goes this time to O'Connell. Fast over the right circle from the weird angle, did not get through, and now Banana will get it out, get after it up in the left circle. He's another, here's a shot as, whoa, that was uh, Frankie Banano right between the legs of a defender. Almost had that one. Ooh. That would have been a, would have been a highlight reel one had he uh, got that one in. But close enough, we'll have a face off to the right of Kevin Dacey. Connor Quinlan and number ten uh, Roca for uh, the Marauders. It's won by the Devils, and it goes back for Crowley for the Marauders. Here's a shot as Dacey makes that one stop. Puck still battled for out in the far corner. And it's number 21. That's Ryan O'Halloran with it. Again, turned it over. Ryan O'Halloran wearing the jersey of his 
older brother, Shane O'Halloran, as he wore number 21 from 2014 to 2015. And that one is turned over. Here's Morin trying to make something happen as he's leveled by Christian Hartling. And a cross ice pass. Just a little bit too far and hit it for Ryan O'Hallen again. Over the right point, Harling fires that one again wide. Getting the rebound with City Bridges. And now on a turnover, it goes to Bailey. Bailey firing that one down. Line change here coming up for the Marauders. As Bridges will race after it. Bridges for O'Halloran, right point, loose puck. O'Halloran nearly had it. As it was nearly turned over, now Timon gets it back. Timon off the stick of Gedick. That one goes wide as Gedick is pushing and shoving behind the net. Here's another turnover now as it goes to Sean Savage. We'll get it off the stick of De La Santa as he levels his man. Now it's De La Santa firing that one. No good on the rebound. It's turned over. This time it's Demis Crowley who fires that one. Stop Barbieri. Savage will try and get after it now. Loose puck turned over. Trying to backhand that one. Here's another try as that one just goes wide. A backhander, I think it was from Connor Dacey, but no good as Paul Barbieri shut the door on that one or it went wide. I believe it just went wide on that play last time. And now another turnover it goes. And now Timon. We'll get that loose puck. Matt Timon fires that one down the ice as the Devils will make a change here. 6.23 to go in the first period. One nothing Devils off of a Frankie Bonanno goal. Here's a shot, that one turned over by the Marauders. As Bonanno gets it ahead for Reith who flips it off the ceiling and out of play. Now we'll see a face-off here, 6-13 to go in period number one. Dacey and Bonanno on the face-off. It's won by Dacey and the Marauders. Now Bertuzio leads it up and it's turned over as the Marauders go behind the net. Here's Cataldo firing that one down ice. Yes, big, another big hit. Really physical play as we'll see a bit of a pushing and shoving near the Burlington bench as Reith fires that one down and wide. A lot of physicality, but surprisingly no penalties called. He's a shot, Jeff Russo off the post! Jeff Russo nearly had one, but it went off the top left post. Barbieri calls no icing. As Reese will get it back to Sean Casey. Line change for the Marauders as it goes back for Christian Harling. A, a turnover now for the Marauders. As Barbieri will play it off off the boards. Get another shot wide of Barbieri's reach. And now O'Halloran oh, slips and falls. Looks like uh, something we saw up in the girls game earlier. <laughs> A little bit of a, a little bit of ice issues that we see as he did not get his balance off that corner there. 4:57 to play, period number one. We'll see a face off to the right of Barbieri. It's won by the Devils. Backhanding it was Bridges, and it goes to Savage now, trying to get it out of the zone. Here's Ryan O'Halloran racing after it right point. Oh, Ryan O'Halloran. Here's another shot. That one just goes wide left as Quinlan nearly had a goal. And now we have a, a whistle here. It looks like uh, Connor Dacey had a little bit of a difficulty getting up. But he's back on his own power. And speaking of that, we have a face off to the left of uh, Connor Dacey. On the face off is Quinlan, as that one is won by the Devils. Quinlan over to Savage right point. Savage fires blocked. 
And now here's Petruzio trying to make a break for it. There's another try, a great pass, and that one just goes wide. A good tic-tac-toe passing there by the, by the Marauders, but just couldn't get that one in the net. As a shot goes wide, another try on the rebound, backhander, Spreberry makes a zap, and on the rebound it goes back to the Marauders. This time left point, here's a shot. As it goes, again wide left, Nolan Duffy. Getting at it, and now whistle is blown here, 3.51 to go in the first. And a one nothing lead here for the Devils right now, offsides is the call. And it's won by the Devils, and that one is turned over. Here's Hayes with it. Goes back for Connor Gedek. Gedek trying to get a pass to Pat Hayes. Just couldn't get there and uh, was uh, just couldn't get there in time. As now the Marauders get it, get the puck off the battle off of the scrum at the right circle. And now there's another shot and a big stop by Paul Barbieri as he easily gloves that one down. On the face off will be Rocca and Bonanno again this time. The right of Barbieri. There's Ben Fici rather. And the meteor off the face off. Here's Casey. Casey all alone. Raw right, just wide. Yes, Casey had a burst of speed, and now here's O'Hara who fires that one just off the crease. On the rebound it goes, she's been on a high slot. That one just couldn't get there. As that one goes all the way the length of the ice icing on the Marauders. So the Devils will have another try with that one. With a face-off. To the left of Connor Dacey. Bonanno and Fici again on the draw. It's won by Bonanno, or Fici. It goes back to the Red Devils, though. Here's Savage who fires that one wide. Back for Sean Casey. Loose puck picked up by the Marauders. And now Savage will have to pick that one up and get it out of their own, or get it out of their own end. Bonanno. Neely turns it over. Back to Steve Rattuzio. And now racing after it is Reith. Who will go behind the net. Here's Russo trying to get after it out in the half boards now. It's uh, picked up and won by the Devils. And Sean Savage as he, as Casey hits a man hard. And now here's Fici with it again who fires that one down the ice. A little more than two minutes to play here in the first period. Devils up one to nothing here in this one against the Belmont Marauders. But the Marauders trying to respond back. Here's a shot, that one wide from Crowley. As Belmont will regroup, line change for the Devils. As Reith lost it, and it goes back for Number 17, that's again Connor Quinlan. Here's Hardling with it. No, but a Barbieri as he's knocked down here, center ice, out in the neutral zone. Still battling for it with Timmy Bridges as he falls down as well. Here's Quinlan with it at center ice. Quinlan over the right point. Quinlan making a move. Poke check there by number 22, that's Thomas Race. Now cross ice pass to Bridges, fires that one, patted away by uh, Dacey, excuse me. As Bridges fires that one wide at the left point. One minute, left in the one period. minute remaining in the period. The Devils still has a have a chance to make it 2 nothing as Hardling races in the zone. Poked away by a Marauder. As Bridges will race after at center ice. Turned over now, here's Barbieri. Barbieri with, has a chance, drops it back for O'Halloran trying to make a move, but Dacey was 
says, oh, no way, you're not fooling me this time, as he gloves that one down to make the stop. 37 seconds in period number one to play. Devils trying to make this a 2-0 game. To end the first off, that would be great if they could. Here's a shot from Casey. That one just goes wide right. Savage with the rebound. And it goes back to the Marauders. Flipping it down the other end was Daisy. And it goes back for Caledano. Savage ahead for Russo, now racing for it. It's Bonanno, he doesn't really have enough time here. 10 seconds remaining. As he's nearly crushed into the boards, and the puck goes out of play. Again, 10 seconds remaining in this first period. As Bonanno takes the face off. They lose the face off. It goes to the Marauders with five seconds to go. And now the Marauders trying to turn it over, and that one will do it. A very positive first period the for the Devils. One nothing in your score after a period of play. And shots on goal unofficially by Brian Brothers, nine to eight in favor of Burlington right now. We'll see what they can do in the second period. You're watching BHS Hockey right here on BCAT. And welcome back to the second period of action here at the Burlington Ice Palace in Burlington, Massachusetts. As your Burlington High School Red Devils take on the Belmont Marauders, Phil and Carl here along with you for this ride we call BHS Hockey. The Red Devils currently up 1-0 right now off a goal by Frankie Bonanno. And other than that, this game is pretty much even in terms of dense possession, shots on goal and whatnot. The Marauders they are down one nothing. As this is not the Belmont hockey team that you're used to seeing, really. Head coach Fred Allard in his in just his third season at Belmont High has turned the program around as they had not been great for a number of years, but now they're starting to turn things around. As they had 10 wins under their belt and did well in the MIAA tournament last year. We'll see the first line coming up here with Casey, Russo, Panano, Hartling, and Bridges. As we're underway for the second period, it's won by the Lakers as Casey loses balance. And now the Marauders taking chase here with 14.50 to go in the second. Oh, what a big hit there by Hartling, a very physical player there indeed as Hartling Gets it back out of his own end, and now we're going to see a whistle here. With 14.38 to go, it looks like some pushing and shoving. Could, didn't really have much of, a, uh, much of a good view on that one. But we will have our first penalty of the night. It'll be number 10, Kimmy Bridges. For, I think boarding is the call. And penalties starting this year in two minutes. Number 10, Timmy Bridges. Two minutes of cross-checking. Or cross-checking is the call, excuse me. Seconds. It's Bridges for cross-checking at 22 seconds. And the two-minute penalty. Two-minute penalties here now in the MIAA. Previously, they were in one minute and 30 seconds. And I believe pretty soon they will be having 17-minute periods. There's a shot that one knocked up in the air. Yeah, was, woo, what, a, uh, what a play there by 
Barbieri and his defenders trying to get that one out of there as the Marauders will play it up now. 14-15 to go in the first period. A minute 35 to go in the penalty for Timmy Bridges as the Belmont Marauders go on the power play. And there's a shot that one turned over now. Here is O'Halloran. O'Halloran racing it ahead and is Quinlan. Here's O'Halloran who whiffs on the shot. Yeah, see, nearly falls down out in the far corner. Racing ahead is Morin for the Marauders. Morin fires. That one just goes wide. As he had a big burst of speed going down center ice. Here's Rumley firing that one wide. On the rebound, it goes to Connor Dacey. Fires that one stopped. Rebound in the left circle. That one just off the boards. Here's Dacey again, right point. Ahead for Caltado, who fires. That one stopped. Rebound. What a stop by Barberi as he holds on to that one. And gloves that one down to the crease to preserve the one nothing lead. Wow. One of the biggest saves so far this game here. But we will see a face off to the right of Barberi as the, the Devils win the face-off, but there's a shot, that one just goes wide. Here's Rattuso, left point. Rattuso, cross-ice pass intended for Daisy, but just couldn't find it. And now he's Coltado, firing that one wide, wraparound try or attempt for Domeniconi. And now there's a chance in the slot, that one stopped, rebound, it went, looked like it was on the shoulder of of a Red Devil players, another try as that one just goes wide and went wide of the net. Barberi didn't really see it that well. And there's another chance, a wraparound, stopped by Barberi, and it's cleared out of the zone. We're right off the face off immediately, right off the bench immediately was Casey, but he is, I believe he was offsides. And offsides will be the, uh, I believe offsides will be the call. We're not too sure about that one. I didn't get a good look at that one, but there the refs will be conferencing. 12.35 to go in the second period. one nothing Devils lead early in the first period, thanks to Frankie Bonanno. And Bonanno wants an explanation as well. And now the other head referee will have a uh, conference with the Belmont coach, Coach Allard. And it looks like we will have a face off the neutral zone. Just to give you a quick replay of that, Casey went right off the bench on a line change. And the puck was over the line before he, uh, before he touched it, so that is an offsides. There's a shot, that one just goes wide. Another uh, wraparound try was thwarted. And now here's Bonanno, pushed aside, and now Another big hit, this time it's on Duffy. And we're gonna see a penalty here coming up real quick here. 12.05 to go on this one. I think it's gonna be on the, I think it's gonna be on uh, the Devils right now. I think it's gonna be, gonna be yeah, it's, it's Casey, it's Sean Casey. And so the Marauders will go on the power play here once again. Berlitz and penalty number 19, Sean Casey, two minutes for roughing. Now roughing will be the call. Two minutes, 58 seconds. And yeah, this, uh, roughing at 258 in the second this period. period has gotten extremely physical right here. We've seen a lot of pushing and shoving. It's uh, And 
And now we'll see Quillen on the faceoff with Alex Morin. Bring up a little bit of confusion with the ref here as we'll take the faceoff here, this time to the right of Barbieri. And the faceoff is won by the Devils. It goes down the other end. That was Quinlan with it. And it's picked up now by the Marauders. Here's Coltado racing after it. Coltado over the line. Eats it across. Here's a shot. What a stop by Barbieri once again. Whoa. As Barbieri had it in between his legs. And we will see yet another face-off to the right of Barbieri. Morin and Bonanno on the face-off. It's won by the Marauders. And it goes back to Connor Dacey. Here's a shot stopped by Barbieri as he loses, or a defender loses a stick. We're not, um, number 17 for the Marauders. Domeniconi lost his stick. He'll pick it up right away. As he'll lead a cross-size pass for Caltado. Caltado is hit by a couple of defenders there. Going back around, lost it. Russo nearly had it. Now a turnover. Here's Morin. Shoots. Stop for Subi. That one was wider, wide and high. A lot of good opportunities here on this power play here for the Marauders. As without their extra man on the attack, they've been turning over the puck quite a few times now. 11 one to go, a minute, one minute to go on the power play for the Marauders. As the Devils win the faceoff, and now chasing away is Connor Quinlan. Quinlan back for Hayes, who fires that one just off the skate. Here's a shot, just goes behind the net. And now Dacey. We'll move it up. Dacey back for Morin now, left point. Morin racing ahead up in the left circle as Morin will fake it. Leads it back for Dacey now. Dacey, here's the wind up flat one, just goes off the pads of Barbieri. And Hayes will be able to clear it out as he loses a stick on that one. 15 seconds to go on the penalty here. As he lost an edge, and now he's a chance. The shot just goes way high above the ceiling. That was Rattuzio on the shot to the right point. And with nine seconds to go on the power play, the Marauders have another chance. To tie things up here at one. Quinlan will get the face off here with Ryan Noon. McNoon wins the face off. It goes back for Brony now. Gives it ahead for Duffy. Duffy fires that one wide. Savage will pick that one up for the Devils. Savage with a little spin move there. It goes to Quinlan. Quinlan fires that one wide. No icing for Daisy. And Barbieri trying to get the loose puck out of there behind the Belmont net, but no good. As they'll move it up. Even strength now here for the Devils with 9.35 to go in this one. And that one is turned over here once again. Uh, Stuffy move up. Got a line change here for the Marauders. Reith with it. Nearly turned it over, gloved away by Barbieri. As that one was from a weird angle off the, uh, off the left circle. Chris Gettick on the faceoff here with Connor Dacey to the right of Barbieri. They win the faceoff. It goes back for Hayes. Now Hayes with it. Back to Del Santa. But, he's, but that one is poked away from him. Here's O'Connell now with it. Ahead for Dacey, but just couldn't get that one in time. Here's another shot. Turned over, and now this time it's Hayes again. Hayes racing after with Del Santa right side. Del Santa with a little spin move, a backhander. Dacey makes the stop. And 
now we'll see a face off to the right of Dacey. It's Bonanno and Bailey. As Bailey wins the face off, it's poked ahead by the Marauders now. And now Bridges will have to race after it, getting it, getting it out into his defensive zone. Here's Sean Casey with it. Left point now is Casey. Casey trying to make a move, but falls on that play, or slips on that play, rather. Bonanno nearly got the pass, and now again it's turned over. This time it's Tim Bailey. Ahead for Crowley, who fires that one wide. And now the, the Marauders will have to regroup. As now Bonanno trying to make, uh, make a move there. He was pushing his defender, could not get the puck in time. As he got the puck, trying to make a little fancy move on a defender, and could not get the puck away. Bridge is at it again. Line change again here for the Marauders. As they'll fire that one wide. Bonanno behind that. Falling down, here's a chance for Reese fires. That one goes wide. On the rebound is Russo, backhander for him. But again, it goes Belmont's way. Here's Morin. Leaves it ahead for Marauder. Now here's Ryan O'Halloran trying to make a move. Finds, finds timing with it. It just goes wide. And we're going to see a penalty here coming up with 7.20 to play in the second. I think it's going to be a tripping call on Belmont. Or uh, it, it will be a tripping call that is on number six, Alex Moran. Come on, penalty number six, Alex Moran. Two minutes for tripping. Time of the penalty, seven minutes, 40 seconds. That's Moran for tripping at 7.40. And now the, the Devils will go in the power play here for the next two minutes. As the Devils in the face off, it goes back for Ryan O'Halloran. And now it's turned over, trying to get a shorthanded break. Here's Stacy with it. Stacy. Trying to wrap it around, too many defenders in front of him trying to move it out of the way. And he'll have to regroup it and dump it out into the other end. Barberi plays it. That's it ahead for Bonanno. Bonanno for Ryan O'Halloran. O'Halloran, right point, waits. Gets it back for Jeff Russo now. As a couple of players lost their balance on that one. And a battle for the puck again behind the net. Doesn't know where it is, or excuse me, Casey didn't know where it was. And now it goes back for Bonanno. Bonanno faking the shot to Casey. Casey, right circle, stops, stopped by Dacey as Ryan O'Halloran is pushing and shoving Nolan Duffy. And now Dacey's gonna get the penalty here. Or excuse me, he's going to go off the ice. And uh, the Marauders win the faceoff behind their own net. It's Matt Brody. A little battle for the puck behind the net. Right behind there. Still moving after it. Casey wins it. Casey to Bonanno. Bonanno way up there as it goes to Connor Quinlan. Connor Quinlan out in the far corner. Lost it. Ahead for Russo, nearly turned it over. But it goes to Quinlan again. Quinlan left circle. Back for Casey, right circle, fires just wide. As Casey had an open net to shoot up, but threw it wide. Here's Casey again, it just goes off the, off the body of a Belmont player and it goes wide. Bonanno shoots it again. Casey backhander denied by Dacey. As it goes back to Bonanno again. Bonanno, penalty almost over. There's another try, this time it's Quinlan. Quinlan with the shot. And now we're back to even strength. Good opportunities on, on the Red Devil and on the power play. 
Just could not find it. Here's to Manicone. Racing ahead for Fiki. Firing that one wide. Barberi's out of his crease as he tried to play that one. And he'll bring it up for Savage. Savage, long pass ahead for O'Halloran. Finding it was Della Santa. As he'll try and make a move on it. Turn it over, he's a shot, stopped! As that was an open net rebound, it just kicks, or kicking a Belmont player kicked it. I'm not sure if it was Dacey or not. Here's Savage goes way up in the air. And nonetheless, we'll get a face off in the Burlington end. It occurred near the blue line right point, so we will see a face off from the right point. Here's Del Santa on the face off. It's won by him, but the Marauders turn it over. Here's Dacey with it now. Dacey with speed. Dacey trying to get through the defender as Barberi pokes that one away. And another backhander. And that one just goes wide. A battle for the puck goes behind the net. As Bridges will backhand that one out of the zone. The Marauders get their first, however. It's Steve Artuzio, and now here's Hayes trying to get a breakaway. Hayes fires. That one just goes wide. And we'll see a whistle here with 3.49 to go in the second period. It's Quinlan on the faceoff with Bailey for the Marauders. It's won by the Devils. It goes back for Matt Timon, and now it's turned over as a shot just goes wide. Here's Ryan Noon with it. Ryan Noon turned it over. Barbieri chips it up for Ryan O'Halloran. Ryan O'Halloran had the pass, lost it at center ice, and it goes back in the Burlington end where Barberi will play it. Ahead for Matt Timon, kicked it away. And the Belmont and the Marauders will make it there first. There's O'Connell trying to make a move on it. And now battling for the puck is Rocca and company. As they chip it ahead once again. Racing after it is Ryan O'Halloran, but we will have a whistle here. And it will be an icing against Burlington, so we'll restart the face off essentially from here. It's won by Banana, but it goes back to Savage who puts it behind the net. Savage. Leading it ahead for no one in particular. Goes back to Casey, left circle. Casey centering it for Bonanno. Bonanno fires that one off the glass. Redon goes to Savage now. Savage fires again off the glass, far corner. And it will be picked up. To be, yeah, it'll be, be, it will be picked up by the Marauders. And another icing call here with 2.29 to go in the second. Bonanno gets it for Casey, who fires that one just off in the slot. And now Casey, trying to battle for it out in the far corner, wins it. And now it's turned over with the Marauders. Here's Domenicone. A cross ice pass uh, intended for, looks like it was number 14. That was Caltanto. But he couldn't get that one away. Wrap around try. Just goes out of his reach. Here's Brody, who, firing, who fires that one down the other end. Savage nearly got a hold of that one, but couldn't find it. Now here's Brody left point. Brody fires. That one blocked. And again, it goes back cross-ice intended 
for Brody again. It goes off of Russo, and now we'll see a whistle here with 134 in the second. Now the faceoff goes to the right of Barbieri. It's won by the Marauders now. The Devils taking chase. Here's Nick Delasanta racing after it. Nick Delasanta all alone fires that one just wide. On the rebound, it goes back. Here's another shot. Moves in the slot. Now it, a chance for Hayes as he whiffed on that one and blocked. Another try intended for Hayes. That one turned over, and now the Marauders have a chance. Here's Morin. Fires that one just off the crease and wide. As the Devils trying to make something here in the second period. Late in the second period. Minute one minute remaining the in the second period. Loose puck is brought up by Christian Hardling, who sends it for Timmy Bridges. And he'll get it out of the other end. That one turned over and stopped by Dacey. 40 seconds to go in period number two. Still a 1-0 game. So far in the second period, a little bit of less physicality here. It's toned down slightly from what we saw earlier. And the faceoff is won by the Marauders. It goes back for O'Connell, who fires that one, and now it's blocked by Savage. Marauders going to get back now. Barbieri with a try, just could not get ahead. Here's another shot from Quinlan that just goes wide. Savage trying to get a hold of it, could not. And it goes back for. O'Halloran and Barbieri. Turned over now, Savage gets it. Poked to the head, another turnover, this time again by Savage. And that will do it for the second period. Score at the end of two periods of play. But not in one, a Belmont lot of physicality, zero. not a whole lot of Shots scoring in the second, in the second period. period. Belmont 13, a two period total of 21. Burlington 7, a two period total of 16. And the, the Devils being outshot by the Marauders, like you heard, 23 to 16. Although they do hold a one nothing lead after the second period of play. And once again, after two periods of play, Burlington won, Belmont nothing. We'll see you in the third period. And welcome back, third period of play here at the Ice Palace as your Berlin High School Red Devils take on the Belmont Marauders. Phil Arcaro here along with you as the Devils currently leading 1-0. A very physical and very defensive second period so far. That led to stagnant scoring here at the Nice fellas. And now the, the Devils will try and answer for the third period. Will they preserve the shutout, shutout and get the win? Or Belmont have a trick up its sleeve. We'll see in this third period. Again, the first line coming out here. Bonanno, Harling, Bridges, Casey. And finally, Jeff Rizzo. Oh, 
along with uh, Domenicani, Ben Broden, Steve Bertuzio, and number three on the faceoff, Connor Dacey. It's won by the Marauders as it will be moved up by them to start the third. Loose puck turned over. It goes to Casey now, left point. Casey with the burst of speed, trying to move around. Here's a loose puck right in the crease. Another try from Bonanno as that one just goes wide. And now Casey with a Casey fires, and Daisy will make the save. So good opportunities here early. 27 seconds in the third period. Bonanno on the face-off. It goes back to the Marauders. Turned over. Here's Bonanno again. Bonanno trying to backhand that one. Could not find the equalizer there. The someone to put it home. Casey trying to make a move as the Belmont player falls. Here's O'Connell, fires that one wide. And it goes back to Christian Hardling. Hardling fires that one down the ice, and now it goes to Quinlan. Quinlan falls down out near the slot, and the Marauders will pick, will try and pick it back up in a battle for the puck in the left corner. Poked away by Ryan O'Halloran. And now Hardling nearly turns it over. But the Marauders get it right back. And a big hit by Quinlan out near the neutral zone as he'll chase after it. Turned over O'Halloran with the initial shot, but was turned over by the Marauders. And now another try goes wide. Here's Connor Quinlan. Cross has passed the left point. And it goes back to the Marauders again to turn it over. And Barberi will play it out to Timmy Bridges. Bridges lost the puck. Loose, it goes back to Ryan O'Halloran. O'Halloran over the blue line. Nearly had uh, number 50, or excuse me, Matt Timon on a line change. As he was trying to switch out with, I think it was Sean Casey there that time. But nonetheless, we'll see a face-off to the right of Barbieri and the, bur and the, excuse me, the Red Devils from the face-off. Savage with it. Nearly turned it over. It goes back for Duffy. Who races after it. Now this time it's Nick De La Santa. De La Santa fires that one off of Dacey. Savage brings the puck up out the other end. As that one goes all the way down the other end, icing is called against the Marauders. And as a result, we'll see a face-off to the left of Connor Dacey. Or Kevin Dacey, excuse me. Not too sure if Connor Dacey and Kevin Dacey are related. They might be. You never know. As... The Marauders win the phase off. Behind their own net it goes. Still spinning with it is Duffy. A cross ice pass intended for Raka. Just couldn't get through. And now Timon nearly turning it over in the battle for the puck near center ice. As he's boarded out near the, near the half boards. Both have something to say. And an offside is called. 11.56 to go in the game. 1-0 Devils. Banana wins the face off. It goes back to Jeff Russo. Russo backhands it. Forson Savage blocked. But it goes back to time anyway. Here's Jeff Russo with Banano. Russo to Banano! Stopped by Connor Dacey as we'll have a penalty coming up here.
And we'll see. Keen, uh, Killen O'Connell sent to the box. Your two minutes for, for a penalty here. Double penalty number 18, Killen O'Connell, two minutes for hooking. Hooking will be the call as the Devils go on the power play. The call for hooking at 318 in the third period. As the fan section chance who can't do that. Now is a trying to uh, pass it to his defender, shorthanded, could not. And poking after it is Jeff Russo who falls down the ice. And now here's Ryan O'Halloran. Ryan O'Halloran with a burst of speed. He goes back for Connor Quinlan, but quickly whistled down. 131 to go in the penalty for, for on the power play, excuse me, for the Devils. 11-13 to go in period number three. We'll see a face-off to the left of Daisy. Face-off one by Belmont. It goes back to Bonanno right point. Bonanno. Ahead for Casey. Back for Bonanno now. It's now in the high slot. Here is Bonanno. Firing that one just way wide. Here's Quinlan out the right point now. Staying up for Casey. Casey to Bonanno again. Bonanno waits, fakes the shot, goes back for Casey again. Blocked! Here's Rocco with it. Firing it down the other end. Rolling around the other end, rather. As Barbieri will play it back for Bonanno. He will set it up here for the Devils. Bonanno ahead for Connor Quinlan. Quinlan over the blue line now. Quinlan trying to burst after it. it. Was just wide. Battle for it out in the half wall. And a cross ice pass for Casey. Casey ahead for Quinlan. Could not find him in time. As here's another try. A shot from O'Halloran out in the slot. Was denied. It goes wide. Winley loses the footing was Russo. And Looked like the net went off his moorings. Stacy looked like he kicked it. And it was quickly whistled down here. 19 seconds to go on the power play here for Burlington. And now Chris Gettick will take the face off here with Dacey, Connor Dacey. Dacey wins that face off. Savage trying to move it up. And now there's a chance for the Marauders. Here's a shot. That one just goes wide. That was Ben Brody with the try there for Belmont. Three seconds, two seconds, one second. We are back to even strength here in the third period. And quickly whistled down as that puck. And now we'll see a face-off. This time to the right of Barbieri. Again, 9.37 to go in period number three. One nothing, Red Devils. Off a goal from Frankie Bonanno in the first period. Face-off is won by the Devils. And now racing after it is Pat Hayes with Nick DeLaSanta. Lost the puck now. And it goes back for the Marauders again. Here's Domeniconi. Dropping it back, here's a shot. That one just goes wide. Another shot off the pads of Barbieri. Another try, just goes off the crease and wide. Battling for it, Russ Reith. And he's buried, another shot stopped by Barbieri. On the rebound, it goes all the way back out in the far corner now. Pass and headed for De La Santa, flipped up in the air a little too high. And now it goes back for Nolan Duffy. Duffy intending to get it back for Case. Dacey gets it back the other end. 8.41 to go in the third period. Devil still hanging on to a 1-0 lead here at the Ice Palace. And a big hit, and pass goes down the other end. The Marauders trying to set up a play here. They will not get there in time as the Marauders hold it up. It was a, probably a shot. Reef trying to move up. He's a shot stopped by Barbieri. A shot by 
Dante Caltado from the left circle. And Barbieri squeezed that one out of its reach. Justin Rocca and Frankie Bonanno on the draw. It goes back to the Devils as they win the faceoff. And now racing after is Frankie Bonanno. He'll get a little, the puck went a little bit too far for him to catch as Stacy loves that one down. And now Bonanno again will take the faceoff. Again, that's one by the Marauders. And now the Marauders lose it up at center ice. And now Bonanno trying to take chase. Here's Casey. No one for the Devils getting that puck there as the Marauders get there first. Russo trying to move in, get it in their zone, blocked. And now Bridges will race after it, far corner. Went back for Diamond and it goes back for Bridges now. Flipping it up in the air is Banana. Line change here coming up here for the Red Devils as it's whistled down. It was Jeff Russo trying to make their uh, play there, but it crashed the net. And once again, we'll see a face-off to the left of Barbieri. And here is Connor Quinlan on the face-off against Stacy. Excuse me, uh, Connor Dacey, yes. Face-off is won by uh, the Devils. And it, it is loose now up in the blue line as Barbieri trying to take a poke at it, but turned it over. Here's Rituzio with the burst of speed. Goes back and a shot fires. That one blocked and now Barbieri gets it back. Barbieri ahead for Quinlan now. Quinlan left circle, backhander stop, rebound. Just goes again out in the far corner. Well, here's Barbieri fires wide. And that shot just goes down the end of the ice. 6.40. To go in period number three. Devils still holding on to a one-nothing lead. Loose puck in the neutral zone. It goes back where Reith will move it up. Where Reith will try and get it, but Savage will pick it up first. Savage will flip it down the other end of the ice. And that will be another ice in here with 6.21 to go in the third period. It's Chris Gedick winning the, for nearly had the face off. It was buried a bat, excuse me, buried under a Belmont player's clothing. Yes. A, little, a lot of hits here and there, and now it goes back to Hartling. Rolls it around the boards, and it goes back for Bridges. Here's Chris Gedick. Trying to make a move on it. Locked in hours and pushing and shoving out in the right circle. And no penalty called. And now the Marauders get the, they're taking advantage of a turnover. And that'll roll around the other side once again. Line change here for the Marauders with 5.30 to go in this one. He's trying to get a shot there, but could not see the puck as it goes off of the skate and it goes back for Hartling in his own zone turned it over now here come the Marauders this time it's Stacy. here's a shot Bradbury makes the stop I think it was Rachuzio out in the slot who got the shot there and now we're going to see some pushing and shoving and some extracurriculars with Christian Hardling and Rattuzio. Tensions running high, especially when the Marauders are down one nothing in this 
third period. Less the uh, less than halfway th or more than halfway through the third period. And now here's Bonanno with it. Bonanno racing after it. Bonanno trying to make a move there. Just couldn't find the shot as Russo whipped on that one. A burst of speed in that one, but Bonanno could not find the back of the net. That will be called offsides. Looks like it was Morin, uh, Morin, whose stick or whose skate was just over the blue line. And we will see a face off in the neutral zone nonetheless. Dacey and Quillen on the draw. A little pushing and shoving between uh, Sean Savage and Domeniconi. And the faceoff is won by the Devils. It flips out the other way. Turnover. Goes back for Connor Quinlan. Fires that one. Stop. Dacey or Matt Timon, excuse me, but the initial shot. And it will be Connor Quinlan who takes the face off here with Connor Dacey. It's won by the Devils. Savage will try and get it out, get it in, get it in the zone. Goes out for a brief set or went out for a brief second, and now it is back out. Here's Barberi with it over the blue line. Fires loose puck. Goes back to the Marauders now. They take advantage. Here's Domeniconi fires that one. Just wider. That was Rattuzio, excuse me, with that one. Here's Son, Sean Savage with it. Savage through one, trying to get it through a skate. And now Jeff Russo will, or excuse me, that was number 21. That's Ryan O'Halloran again. Here's Time and Fires. That one blocked. As that one will drift out down center. And a line change here for the Marauders as they quickly join in. Here's a turnover this time. It's Crowley. Crowley fires. That one blocked. And on the rebound, it goes to the other side. And now another shot. It goes down with Reith, who will get it first. Reith maintaining his balance is O'Halloran, who sends it up for Hayes. Could not find him in time. As both players fall down. On the ice, and Dacey will scoop up that one. 3.01 to go in the third period. 1-0. Red Devil lead here. If the Marauders can score within the next three minutes, this game will end in a tie. If not, this will be a 1-0 win for the Devils as the Marauders win the faceoff. It goes back for Atuzio. Defended by Della Santa, he pushed his in, he pushed his man away. Brody fires that one blocked, and it goes back for Nick Della Santa off the skate. Now here's Hartling, Hartling will bring it up for Hayes, who moves it down the ice. Here's Bonanno with it. Bonanno ahead for Casey. Sean Casey. His chance was poked away by a marauder. As Rattuzio with it. He goes back for Duffy. Loose puck, and now here comes Jeff Russo with it. Jeff Russo with a burst of speed. Jeff Russo with the right circle. Stops that shot. Over to Casey. Casey for Hartling. Again for Casey. Two minutes to go, less than two minutes to go in the third period as Barberi will play it up. Hartling to Timon, or QB to, to Reith as Hartling brings that back for Sean Casey. Sean Casey with a burst of speed. 
Skates around over the circle. And his pass is immediately turned over. 123 to go in period number three. As that one will be shot down the length of the ice, or half the length of the ice, excuse me. As the Marauders trying to get, trying to respond to that one, and now we're going to see a penalty here coming up. A whistle with a minute four to go in this one. It is offsides. Kind of surprised with uh, how physical this game is and how many penalties have not been uh, stopped. 58 seconds to go on period number three as a shot from, I think that was from Cataldo. Fire to the left point, stopped by Barbieri. And now we'll see a face off to the right of Barbieri. The Marauders looking to respond. Timeout called by the Marauders. 58 seconds timeout, to go on. in the third Belmont, period. The Marauders looking to strategize and regroup after being down one nothing. If you're the Marauders, this last minute is crucial. It looks like it is an empty net here for the Marauders as they are down one nothing. They all go in the six on five. You are down one nothing. And that extra attacker can help if you. If you really want to tie this one up with. Like I said, less than a minute to go. And they will send six players out on the ice. The net is empty here for the Marauders. As Kevin Dacey will go out to the bench. Now or nothing for the Marauders right now, but for the Devils, you need to play defense for the next 58 seconds if you want to win this one. Maybe get a turnover or whatnot. They will not. And now the Marauders with it, here's Duffy. Missing after the shot, just goes wide. Six on five for the Marauders. As that one turned over, it goes back for Savage. Savage back for Bonanno. Here's a shot just off the netting here with 36 seconds to go in the third. We could see a face-off or two left in the third period. With 36 seconds to go, whoever wins this face-off. Here's Bonanno racing it ahead for Quinlan. The puck's going, going, just wide of the net. Stouter, Russo trying to make a move on it, turned over. Nearly turned over, it goes over the bench. And now we're gonna see a little bit of extracurriculars. 23 seconds to go in this one. As he fell down the ice, we're gonna see a face off the neutral zone, so it was called offsides. Good opportunity here for the Devils to put in the empty netter here if they win this face off. And they will not, it's won by the Marauders. And it goes back for Coltado. Now racing ahead is Dominicone. Dominicone spinning around 12 seconds to go. Dominicone with the puck, trying to make a move on it. Stopped by uh, the defense there. Five seconds to go. And whoa, whoa, we're gonna see a bit of a fight here as there's a scrum between the two players. Fronters are being thrown and wow. Five seconds to go. You're down by one. Woo. Uh, it, it, might, it might have been a cheap shot. I don't know what it was, but nonetheless, a bit of a fight broke out with five seconds to go. We're probably not going to be seeing uh, the handshakes after this one. 
one last face off here. They're going to send a few people to the box. So it's going to be Connor Dacey who will go into the box, and now Sean Savage will. So I believe it's going to be a five on four. And the Belmont bench is livid right now. They aren't really on. They're, they're yelling at the ref right now. Five seconds to go. This will probably be one last face off for Burlington. As Frankie Bonanno, the lone goal scorer of the day, takes the face off here against Justin Rocca. And it's one, it goes all the way down the ice and that will do it. Hobart Berry, congratulations, first shutout of the year as your Burlington Red Devils defeat the Belmont Marauders by a 1-0 score. They're piling on Hobart Berry, an excellent, an excellent performance. Shutting, er, 28 for 28 in terms of shots. Congratulations to the Burlington Red Devils. They are now 2-0. As the Marauders go 0 and 1, and they fall 1 and nothing, and that'll do it here from the Ice Palace. Once again, your final score here from Burlington: your Burlington Red Devils one, the Belmont Marauders nothing. I'm Phil Arcaro. We will see you on Wednesday as the Red Devils travel to Woburn to the Ned in Woburn as they'll take on the Tanners of Woburn High School in the Battle of Wind Street. From the Burlington Ice Palace, this has been BHS Ice Hockey on BCAT. Once again, Phil Arcaro saying so long and good night.